Uh, as many of you know, Legendary Pictures announced at Comic-Con they are bringing us a newly rebooted King Kong origin story in 2016 titled Skull Island. We know that Godzilla writer Max Bornstein is penning the script and it looks like they have a director that they want. According to the reports, Attack of the Block director and Ann Manton co-writer Joe Cornish is Legendary's man to direct the new King Kong film. Christian, would you buy or sell Skull Island directed by Joe Cornish? I'm buying it because, first of all, I love what he did with Attack the Block. That movie was, was uh, really a, a nice, pleasant surprise. I didn't see it coming, and it was, it was ener energetic. You're watching it mm -hmm. on the edge of your seat your whole time, and it had a nice little humor to it as well. Not that you need that for Skull Island, but now from what the reports are saying, the Skull Island is a prequel, right? Yes. To, to yeah. the yeah. Origins, it's an origin story. The origin story of Kong. That's never been done. Like, I don't remember a, a Kong origin story, like how he got there, what, what's going That's the one origin story I'm very excited to see. So that team up, when I heard about that, because th th it kind of came out of the blue. I think that made, there might have been reports here and there, but I had never heard of it before. Mm -hmm. So when they said, oh, Skull Island's coming out, the first thing I go was, well, did they show Kong? Did they show young Kong? What's the deal? And I think maybe the last <laughs> shot is him, like, looking out, you see, like, the boats coming in. <laughs> like, and there's a lot of really fun stuff. Like, I'm bye, 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 bye. I'm tentatively gonna buy it for now. I mean, Joe Cornish, he did a talk of the block, but he hasn't done all, he, he doesn't have a huge resume, and neither does uh, Max Bornstein, but the, what I'm interested in is that Max Bornstein, he wrote Godzilla, so is this an indication of all the speculation of that this will be a shared universe with Godzilla? Because he, if he wrote Godzilla and he's writing Skull Island, he has kind of intimate knowledge of what they wanted to set up with Godzilla. Right. Are yeah. they saying, okay, this is the same universe, and he's gonna layer it with a bunch of details that lead into yep. like maybe a King Kong versus Godzilla. Yeah. yeah. Well, they announced they announced all those monster movies. I think it is gonna be a shared universe for, for sure. Um, okay. I would love to see a King Kong versus Godzilla. The only thing for me is the reason I think that it's hard is the way they already set up Godzilla. He's giant. He's giant. Yeah. And how big? Like yeah, yeah. How many gonna make Kong? So it's really unless they like it's gonna be a Batman v Superman situation where they wind up like teaming up instead of actually fighting each other. Wouldn't that be horrible? It's like Godzilla and a whole bunch of Kongs. Yeah. <laughs> so like, right. like no, that's not how it should go. So. Yeah, I buy it. I love the idea of Skull Island. I think it's great. I think, you know, maybe they've already, they just built the wall and we have earlier settlers or something. I don't know what the story is going to be. Uh, Stacey Jonathan Penner, rock and roll. I love, I love, you know, I love the idea of Skull Island. I love that it's now going to be a movie. Um, so I'm 100% into it. I and think you like Joe Cornish directing it? Joe Cornish directing it? 100%. He hasn't been, he's not officially locked in yet. I know they approached him, but it's like, you know, he's got a couple of things he's he's thinking about. You know, they're announcing it, so maybe he's in the that, you know, I'm about to sign and make it official thing. We've heard this before where mm -hmm. there are, you know, circling directors, they're circling actors, and it doesn't happen. You know, I'd love to see Joe Cornish direct. I think he's got a great eye. He's a great writer. He works with Edgar, Edgar Wright all the time. He's a very funny dude. He's, I mean, and he's also just, he's he gets action. I mean, yeah. Attack the Block had some really amazing action sequences for being a low-budget, fun you know, little alien invasion versus kids, you know, kids on the block type of thing. I thought it was a really fun film. You guys think Andy Serkis will come back? Oh, yeah. You think so? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they'll get him back. Come I on. So. You know, awesome. he's going to play Kong and a dinosaur. Or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> and, a dude, and a dude on it. Yeah. You know, it's like, he's the earlier version of that pirate guy he played in King Kong. Mm -hmm. he's like, <laughs> hey, everyone, if you like this video, click that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and helps you stay up to date with all the latest movie news, as well as our daily AMC movie talk show. Also, make sure that you follow us on Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with all of our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.